So let's begin. Davian Alliance, High Orbit over Kern. Alexandria Cunningham. Commander Mr. Oliver, it's good to see you again. Lady Cunningham, I didn't expect you to be here in person. We're a little bit far inside enemy territory. Operation I'm about to propose is delicate and security is of paramount importance. Simply could not be entrusted to any intermediary or any communication channel that might be intercepted. Alright. Well, nothing can be trusted to Comstar, let's be real. Space AT&T, pay your bills. Uh, indeed, Dr. Murad, what I'm about to tell you goes no further than your bridge crew, Commander. There's a secret, profound significance to the Federated Suns. We're, we're preparing for a large-scale offensive along the Capellan border, which probably probably somewhat corresponds to the four succession wars. <laughs> No, of course not. What we need you to do is prepare one of the Capellan border worlds for our offensive. That's a task of a much smaller scope, but within your capabilities. Picked us because we're deniable, I imagine. That is precisely correct. Are we deniable, though? Like, we're known to be in contract with the Fed Sons at this point. It's critical this operation not be traced back to the Fed Sons in any way. Commander, I intend to lead the most to plan to you and your staff, but our first order of business is to eliminate. The observation ports posts so that we can begin moving personnel and mechs from to and from the planet covertly. Okay. After that, Commander, we react to situation as develops. All right. So not much of a yeah. We're making it up in the as we go. <laughs> um, our ultimate goal, our ultimate target is a CCAF Commander Lieutenant Colonel Janice Song. They should be a skilled strategist. They're known to be a canny mech warrior. Means they're not going to be predictable. Successfully so striking at them will take some degree of improvisation. I'm managing the operation personally, so I'll be in touch once you're en route. Okay. Not a problem. So we can kick that off if we want. Four and a half skull mission. Hmm. So we're neutralizing the observation post. Capture the base. What's my weight limit? Two hundred and forty tons. Well, it's not limiting me on weight, so that's that's good. Okay. So I kind of want to use a mix of the A team and the B team this mission. So we're going to bring Battle Cry. Oh, you can just double click them in. That's cool. We're going to bring in Zebroid because when destroying a uh, drill bit, when destroying a base, it is always good to bring someone with quality LRM capabilities. And we'll finish the unit out for Shutter. Okay. So the bull shark makes a lot of sense. The Highlander, the Archer, and for the scout mech for this mission, we'll bring the Griffin 1N. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's do this. Not sure what to expect. What does a four and a half skull mission for destroying a base look like? Could be, could be like walls and walls of turrets, maybe mixed in with some mechs. I don't know. Let's find out. Um. Okay. No, my my microphone's in the right area goes a little bit high sometimes so maybe let me let me do a little filter change here let's back this down to there and uh, hopefully that brings it in because I have noticed there's been um, ever so slightly a little bit of um, a little bit and why are you not coming back up Battletech there we are hurting my feelings you don't want me to play you 
been noticing a little bit of uh, a little bit of upper end static in the microphone lately. This is the uh, target area commander. The facilities just spawned the rock formations along the river. Okay. User trees is cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Set to go, commander. Feels like this might be a little bit of a trap in the middle here, but let's have a look. If it is, they'll probably get way more than they think that User they're going to get. Channel. Oh, I can't even get. I can't get through here. That's a little lame. Okay, we'll take the take the wider side. Two mechs on scopes. Sixty ton heavy mech. Receiving you. Moving to position. Let's get a sensor lock on that. Sensors locked. Quick draw. Up. Receiving you. Copy that. Let's bring up the LRM boat. Before the uh, quick draw can get away. I already actually have a head injury on the po or injury on the pilot and a stripped side torso. That's lovely. Commander. I don't think the um, I don't think the assaults can't really get much off. Just LRM fire. Almost gone. Almost got that side torso completely gone. Sprint the bull shark. Let's hit him hard. Okay. So we have a 35 ton vehicle, and there was a mech that disappeared in there. Got it. There it is. Unknown mech. At least one turret. Can we. Can't get at where I want to hit him. So. Just fire an alpha strike. So that's a heavy. Or it's activating in the heavy phase. It could could be an assault mech. Commander. This is a little exposing of the archer, but I do kind of want to move up as much as we can. Okay. They've got a sensor lock on me. And then the quick draw. Actually, I forgot. Ooh. Not much armor left. That, in that cockpit place. mod coming into into play. It's actually it's actually a probably a medium mech. Commander? Um, this one's just gonna gonna keep sprinting. Bull shark has no, not great long range engagement capabilities. Not at, like at this kind of range. Oh boy, that's a lot of LRMs. What's up, boss? What's up is I need you to get direct line of sight. I guess worth it. This is the new uh, ultra auto cannon build that we constructed last episode for the quick draw. Or not the quick draw, the Highlander. Okay. How are you, drill bit? Eh, still fairly good. Okay, so aside from taking a shot to the noggin, the Griffin is actually quite fine. And since I got to ignore the damage from that uh, shot to the head in terms of injury to the pilot that means we're in good shape we're in good shape still would still like to get one of the assaults up there to try to take some of the damage cicada okay what's up boss kind of debating whether i want to fire at the cicada or just get the kill and the answer is we probably just want to make sure that quick draw isn't evolved in the 
fight anymore. It's still got three medium lasers after all. Actually, since since um, quick draws are very um, actually a fair amount of weaponry in their center torso, um, we do actually have to worry about them even when they're basically sticks. Okay, PPC shot. Light damage. Holding firm. Receiving you. Well, I need you to do more than receive me. I need you to kick the crap out of this guy. Wow, I didn't actually expect that to kill it. <laughs> um, but that should actually more or less eliminate their eyeballs on us. Okay, we're also tracking additional enemy forces. So we got a reinforcement coming in. Hurts. Still reading enemy contacts, Commander. Okay. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. So the PPCs are from that turret there. Three turrets in total. And then whatever that vehicle is that we saw earlier and have not managed to engage. Kind of want to keep the Griffin back a little bit. Um, one of its shoulders is. Um, compromise. And there's another mech down there as well. Okay. Nothing hit this, the side torso. Good, good, to go. good, good, good. On my way. Should be able to finish the turret off with the archer. Missiles are not great for taking out turrets, so that was the only thing. And lived. Just needs a nudge. 65 ton of uh, heavy mech. Uh, double PPCs. And I've got side Ready for side torso armor exposure all over the place here. So. Can't get the LRMs there and the ultra auto cannon there. Should be able to take out that turret. There we go. Okay. Should be able to get rid of that turret as well. With the other assault. With the bull shark. And we're doing okay still. I'm a little bit worried about drill bit. Oh, catapult K2. Let's take out this turret. Because it's not activated yet. There we go. Target destroyed. Okay. So two turrets left. And two defenders fire. left. So the catapult and whatever that is. Standing by. Uh, okay. Can we... Oh, wrong mech. I want to use drill Ready bit. Can we attack? We can. Kind of just want to fire and run. So use that. Use that ace pilot ability. It's got a lot of LRMs, whatever it is. Honestly, not sure what though. Still. That is a very nasty turret, so I would prefer to put it in the ground. There we go. So one turret left, one mech, one vehicle. And that one turret is relatively out of the fight right now, so that's good. Right. You have come closer to me, and that is probably a mistake. Didn't penetrate anywhere though. Oh god, that turret has so very many LRMs. And they have actually beat up the bull shark a fair bit. Um I was gonna say I can't. I 
can't get all the way down there. What is this vehicle? It's Striker Narc. Okay. We're just we're just looking for a kill. I'm I have no interest in salvaging this uh, K2. Target eliminated. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contact inbound. Okay. So reinforcements appear to be two mechs. Waiting for orders. Ready for orders. Four mechs, so full lance. Try and put the narc down. I was gonna say, probably wasn't gonna work though. Commander. Uh, no, I do want to move him. He is angled kind of awkwardly. Uh, 45 tons, 70 ton, 80 ton. Well, the 80 tonner is the one I want to know about. It's a victor. Okay. Two mediums and a heavy with it. Lots of armor. Okay. Well, there is the option of thumping them. Oh, did they improve the thumper graphics? That looks actually a lot cooler than it did before. Ugh, I really need that turret gone. We now have the R. Hey, I don't care, it's an arm. That is not... That is not actually a problem. So, hang on. Let's drop down with the Highlander and put the turret out of its misery. There we go. That turret is gone. Nice. I can take out the Narc next turn as well. No oh torso destroyed shit. Commander, I've lost all my weapons. Uh good to go. Yeah, shit. Fuck. Uh You are ostensibly uh completely useless. So we'll keep we'll way. keep the griffin around, but um yeah, that is that legitimately sucked that they just took all the weaponry off. That is it's the problem with how the Griffin is built, unfortunately. We're going to sprint away as well. Copy that. Need to lure them in closer. Grasshopper. Okay. I'm losing armor bad. Need to do another thumper shot, I think. Because we're officially outnumbered at this point. And I also have to take out the striker Narc this yes, turn. Commander. So, back up. My, my mouse is being a little bit of a retard today. And I can't thumper right now. Okay, your damage is to the back. Your damage is also to the back. All right, well, let's take out the closer one. Affirmative. I was going to say, I might just be able to alpha strike it to death because the bull shark does hit really, really hard. Yes, Commander. Okay. There we go. Two objectives down. One to go. Oh no! My mech is coming That's a double heat sink. Shit! Yes, Commander. 
You were gonna pay for that, you little biatch. We're getting some serious lack of luck with uh, what we're getting hit on right now. Barely hit, Commander. Yes, Commander. Jumping. You're just you're just gonna do your thing, really. Uh, sensor lock just to reduce the Got evasion on that Phoenix Hawk. That's in the back, but not necessarily actually a problem. We're okay. I'm here. So the bull shark has lost significant cooling. Might as well. I don't think we're gonna use the other thumper for anything else. There we go. Good to go. Gotta love a good crippling of a Phoenix Copy Hawk. That. Okay, so the victor. You're kind of what I want to salvage, if I can, so... SRM ammo and launcher. Medium lasers. That's the one with the big AC-20. And the AC-20 ammo. So, yeah, we want to do right torso. Didn't get it, but I am through the armor. Ready for orders. Mm. He's pretty hope he's pretty helpless right now. So let's go let's go after the grasshopper. Took out a heat sink or a jump jet. Which is nice, but nothing great. You've gotta be shitting me. Okay, this has become what we in the business call Location bullshit confirmed. at this point. Uh, sensor lock, bring down the evasion. Lock. Victor moves. Uh, I am a little pissed I'm off right now. I'm hit. Reading you. You I just want to kill, so. There we go. At least, I'm, at least I'm getting some crit hits back, I guess, but. I don't know. There's been there's been a little bit of the bullshit luck going on here right now. So let's take that let's take that shoulder off. So it should be two pilot injuries. One for the torso and one for the uh, one for the uh, brain. Why are you doing this to me, brain? Uh, the ammo explosion. On my way. Can I get a cold shot center torso? I can. Not great chance to hit, but I don't think it needs to be. There we go. Target neutralized. Commander. Um. DFA, baby. <laughs> Going to the shop anyways, might as well. Down. And today a shot for the assaults. That's nice. They've blown past my armor. I'm here. Uh, 
Can I get into your rear? On my way. Don't think I can. Nope, no rear. Um. But you do have a very vulnerable leg there. That should be a third wound to the pilot. Which might be enough to take him out. Nope. But it is free called shots. And... We can possibly take the other leg. Ah, I got the center torso. All right, it's only one piece of Victor salvage. On the move. So that's a little disappointing. I just need to Position. capture the base with the Highlander, and we can go home. Uh, well, actually, probably not, because I think this is a consecutive deployment mission. Which means, unfortunately, we won't have the... I mean, eh, I don't really care about the Griffin, but no no Archer, no Bull Shark for the next mission. That's a little... Particularly the Bull Shark is a problem. Alright, well, hopefully we can get at least a piece of Victor salvage, because I do actually really think the Victor would be an upgrade on the Zeus. It would give a lot more um, versatility to what we currently have with the Zeus. So, I definitely want the Victor salvage, but we have none of it. So, none of the other mechs really interest me. We have some oh, triple plus medium laser. That's interesting. Or a double plus SRM4. No, that's 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 the way to go. And we also got a piece of catapult K2 salvage, which I mean it's an interesting mech. But it is one that we would just sell. 65 ton PPC boat is not really a thing to write home about. Not really something we could find a um, a purpose for. All right, now do we have the consecutive deployment? We do, we do. All right, let's have a look at the details. With our beachhead secured, it's time to start moving against the Capellans here on Kern. There are, poten there are multiple potential targets in the area, but before we discuss them, we need to clear the field. Our technicians have extracted the force deployment de data from base computers. We know there are two heavy lances of mechs on patrol right now. Somewhere on the other side of the river, you'll get the leopard and sweep the blitz. Okay. So. Okay. So we do. We definitely want the Highlander. We'll bring the Annihilator. Might as well. Bring Sidewinder as well. Um, bring the Cyclops. And the Grasshopper. There we go. Alrighty. Round number two with the good old Capellan dunce caps. I think, I think if you paid, paid any attention to the lore, my lore thoughts and stuff, you know I don't like the Capellans. <laughs> Which is probably putting it slightly mildly. Um, during the loadings of the missions, I, I am going to be refreshing the um, my uh, my fantasy basketball team to see if anything cool is happening. Um, Fred Van Fleet has dropped 54 points now on me. Holy crap. And Dylan Brooks has hit dropped 23. Hell of a night. Hell of a night against me. Uh, Evan Fournier had a great start for me, but was kind of invisible in the second half. So let's roll on here. Don't have the lance I'd want for this because I really would want the bull shark. But we do have three assaults, so I'm not. I can't. I can't complain. Okay. So. Capelling control is there. Uh, patrol is there. 
They said Heavy Lance, but I have learned that, like, when they say Heavy Lance, it doesn't... It doesn't mean a Lance of Heavies. Um, they're very non-specific about stuff like that. Okay. I got a sensor that Cyclops is fairly mobile, I must say. It's a shame I just can't figure out what weapons I want to use on it, really. Okay. Um, 60 tonner. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Unknown. Unknown. But they're heavies by the looks of it. Okay. Engaging target. What's up, boss? Nice thing about having an assault LRM boat is that it does carry enough armor that it, it doesn't it doesn't need to worry about being sighted and taking some fire. I mean, it, I don't want it taking ridiculous amounts of fire or anything. Um, but what they've got, I think, is acceptable. It's four mechs total, I think. Um, there's one I didn't see that did move. Oh shite! Drillbit is having a I'm bad day. Damage. Shite! Commander, I'm hit. This is some bull plop. We're getting it again. Okay. And she's not out of she's not out of firepower this time like last time though. So at least at least there's that. Okay. So jump jets. We'll go after the dragon. Standing by. Maybe this will just be the large laser. Yeah. Target confirmed. Okay. So let's see what the see how the grasshopper is. Good to go. So, we lost a pair of medium lasers and small laser. It's not a huge deal. It's not the end of the world. Let me jump up this way here. Okay. So, we're just going for the kill on the quick draw. We have no interest in that salvage. I don't even know if I have salvage rights. And there's the second Capellan Patrol. That's not great. Means I am gonna have to charge forward with the LRM boat here because I need, I need to bring everything to bear. Need to take guns off the field. Riflemen. We're okay. That's a very heavily armored Cyclops. Well, not very, but pretty heavy. Got a second sniper. Took a hard hit there. And the dragon. So rifleman a second PPC boat and a dragon plus the waiting for order. I'm there. The quick draw. Ugh, I really activated the wrong mech uh, because I did figure that the uh, Annihilator wouldn't actually be in range for stuff yet and the Highlander might have been uh, yeah but you're ace piloting closer to me like is that intelligent because I, I feel like I could probably kill you now Had I had a call shot, I think I probably could have done it, but without the focus. Not there. Okay. LRMs from the second patrol and a head injury for Sidewinder. Great, great. Position confirmed. On it. Okay. At least we got the quick draw out of the way. 
One less target. Do I want to go for the dragon next or the rifleman? Dragon would be the easier kill. Being just a 60 tonner. Keep rotating, keep rotating. Probably the dragon is the answer. Better chances to hit, too. So let's just go center torso again. Excuse me. Where are we exposed? Nowhere. Okay. Losing lots of armor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is not a good day to be you, I understand. Um I wanna save the AC tens if I can for the rifleman. Or the AC twenties, pardon me. There we go. Dragon down. Waiting for order. And then if I can Which apparently I can't. It's just a large laser I can ding the rifleman with. Oh, it's on now. Yeah, nothing really there. Light damage. Nothing Light really fire. doing. <laughs> I don't like how sensitive the mouse is being right now. Might as well. I have a cold shot available. Let's take the arm off. Fifty percent of the first patrol done, and the rifleman I think is the only eyeballs they've got on the field right now. Heading out. I got plenty of morale, so. Second rifleman, okay. Where is the structure coming off that? Because apparently he's not through my armor anywhere. Uh, no, no, battle cry first. Battle cry is short range. Um, there we go. You are a stick. Reporting critical hit. Um, but at the same time, it's a free call shot. Do I need? Can I? Okay, got up anyways. All right, that that ended that dispute. Okay. And then the Highlander can engage the other rifleman. I like how everything on this mech is is like double plus or better. That's lovely. Man, that is some that is some range on those LRMs. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Ready for orders. Can I not get there? Is that, can I not get direct range on you? Firing on target. I'll just pick at him. Not a problem. Yet. Waiting for orders. Separate really does need to cool off at some point here. That still. Target's taking a critical hit. Eighty ton of salt mech. Yeah, awesome. Ten bucks says it's an awesome. Not a lot of assaults do double PBC builds. Standing by. I don't care about the. The large laser would be the answer. There we 
we go. Really hot mech, though. That's a kill. And brace. It's go time. They are really after that grasshopper. How's my center drawer? So still, still good. Still got over a hundred structure. We are okay. Um, this does feel like a waste, but I need to start burning off some heat. So we'll just pick at this rifleman. How are we? 85. Okay. Getting uglier. But still okay. Save the LRMs. There we go. One down. One to go. Oh, it's another victor. So... Could it have been the victor? And not an awesome? No. There's the awesome. So victor and awesome. So two assault mechs that are activating as heavies, which is interesting. Might as well get a call shot. Um, I don't think we have enough salvage rights, really. So this is... We're we're going for kills. Just the ACs, please. There we go. Target down. Victor down. Thunderbolt. We also have a couple of new viewers on the channel, uh, although I don't have names for them. Um, okay, so we move up the LRM boat. The boat, the boat, the boat. Onto the Thunderbolt. Hopefully that burns some heat off, because that Cyclops has been running very hot this whole battle, and it's... It's been a bit weird, because generally... That's not a problem? On my way. Let's move the beat up grasshopper forward. And it can do its long range stuff. A banshee? Why is there a ban. Hmm, uh, okay, so that's three assaults. Maybe not. Could, could be that the. You know what? I think they have to have a Cyclops, because they're all activating initiative phases. Before. That's two Thunderbolts and a Banshee, I guess. I don't know. I thought for sure we were going to see a... Uh... I thought absolutely, to be honest, I thought for sure we were going to see an awesome. And I guess it's the Banshee that's been firing the double BBCs. But Thunderbolt is down. And we can go for the other Thunderbolt, too. We're not going to kill the Banshee this turn, so... There was a slight chance, maybe, if we got really, really lucky, that the Thunderbolt would go down. Initiative Phase 2 Banshee. Good to go. Weird. Just, just a little bit weird. On my way. Um, just the missiles then. Commander. Stay out of line of sight of the Banshee if I can with the Grasshopper. Because it has seen better days. That might take the arm off in the near future. Both assaults are overheating, though. Well, not overheating, but 
they're they're high on the heat levels. But at the same time, I think I can use the AC twenties and retain relatively solid heat. And the Highlander can go do some fisticuffs with the Banshee and burn off a ton of heat. That's nice. Interesting. Not who I would have targeted. Unless you just really, really hate LRM boats, I guess. Knock down. He's gonna get right. Uh, well, I get a, I'll get a call shot with the grasshopper, but um, not with any like super. Not with any super significant firepower. I don't think we get the kill. I mean, may eh, it's a large. Uh, what, what's he got left? Thirty-three. Eh, if the large laser hits, it's a kill. All right. Got the job done. Can go down. Uh, you have burnt off the heat, so let's do this. Not interested in a banshee salvage. With through this, the banshee is like I don't know. It's just a mech that doesn't really work. I can get I can get one laser in there with the ACs. Hot damn. Let's do this. Okay. You were up against three assault mechs and you are a banshee. I don't like your odds. <laughs> Solid connection on that one. Oh, knockdown. Of course it's for the grasshopper. Copy that. And get some decent amount of firepower this time, at least. There we go. Got the job done. Oh, an achievement unlocked. That's the last of them. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I'd actually have enough for like two YouTube episodes here with this mission. Seven days of injuries, ten days of injuries, one mech needs significant refits. Uh, that's a different victor, unfortunately. Um, but still, we'll take the victor salvage. Take the medium laser. Small laser, PVC, ooh, double gyro. Double gyro is probably the answer. Yeah, we'll grab that. And some quick draw salvage as well. A couple extra medium lasers. Can never have too many medium lasers. Davian Alliance 2, high orbit over Kern. Everything is progressing smoothly, Command and Offering. I'm quite pleased with the results so far. As I mentioned, we're fully in control of the Legion and ready to proceed to the next stage of the operation. I think I've had some bullshit bad luck. However, this is where I defer to your judgment as a field commander. There are two potential targets we could strike, but you're the experts. I will leave you the choice to you. Okay. First, there's a logistics base. Mm-hmm. Key to keeping any local military force operational. If we destroy it, the Capellans will have to resupply for orbit. There's no way to attack this base covertly, though. You'll begin your approach to base. The defender will be alerted. That is, I'm leading. I'm thinking that's the answer. Reinforced bunker and armory, the last of the original fortifications in the world. Currently, this is the use of the command center for the local forces, but during a planetary invasion, could easily be refitted back to its original purpose, at which point it would be effectively impregnable. Hmm. 
find the bunker, destroy it. Any thoughts from the Twitch chat? I like the logistics base. But it does seem like the bunker becomes a significant issue if we can't find it. Feels very much like that has to be taken out. Otherwise it would become a complete tick. Dug in. Impossible to remove. But it's also not really our style. We're not we're not really a sneak in type of thing. Logistics base. <laughs> So this will be the end of uh, the first half of this uh, this campaign, and uh, we'll get ready for the second half here. Uh, first, though, that does involve some major uh, refits. Oh, losing that double heat sink is gonna suck. I don't know if I can even replace that. Crap. I don't think we have one of those. <clears throat> All right, what do I do? Still have two double heat sinks, a single heat sink. But it's going to get hot if I don't go with a heat sink. And the only open spots I have require ammo, so they're not really an option anyways. Put the heat sink there. How about the gyro? Put the, the advanced gyro in there. And a single heat sink. I guess, I guess in the leg. <laughs> um, there. Three days to refit that. That's fine. Right. And then we have the Archer, which is just a quick repair. The Grasshopper, which is a full refit because we lost, uh, well, like a side of the mech. So repair that. Replace, replace, repair. So what do we lose? We lost four heat sinks, small laser, and two medium lasers. That's fine. Easy, easy enough. So medium laser, medium laser, small laser, and then the heat sinks. One, two, three, four heat sinks. Go. And then the Griffin, which is a refit as well. Three medium lasers and an LRM launcher lost. There's not, there's no way of doing it. There's just no hard points on the other side of the body. Um, so it is. Though I am, I am gonna miss that LRM fifteen triple plus. That, that was a hell of a weapon, and it does very much suck that that has been lost. Um, I think what I'll do now, because that happens, we'll just go with a standard LRM fifteen for that. Think, and then um, two tons of ammo. So basically, same build, but with a less effective LRM15 on it. And so rebuilding that. Bunch of rebuilding going on here right now. Don't nearly have the firepower for what I want with this. I want that bull shark back up before we do this. And I guess we could stop by the store. Take a look what's there. 
Um, the answer is not a hell of a lot, to be honest. That is actually a really, really unimpressive store. I do feel like we could probably uh, unload some stuff, though. We don't need that cicada. We don't need that dragon. We don't need that vindicator. We'll get rid of everything there. Um... Everything else is potentially useful. We don't need cash. Like, if I needed cash, I could, you know, drop it down and do some things. But, uh, that's not the case. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to bring Medusa on board. But I think we're good for now. Let's have a look. Speaking of mech warriors, can we improve every anybody? Waiting for orders. Receiving you. There we go. Tent steel piloting. Ready to rock. So drill bit now has a ten to him. Waiting for orders. To her, pardon me. What do you need? Ready for orders. And Zebroid joins the Quad Ten Club. Yeah, drill bit is a female, right? Yeah, Fam Guadalupe, or Guadalupe Fam is drill bit. So we're just gonna advance until the bull shark is ready. So. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't care. You already don't like us. You already do not like us. So I think it's more than fair that we we take action against you, Highlander, Thunderbolt, Bull Shark. Uh, probably want that Archer too. There. Okay. So we are better. We've got all hands on deck. Just the grasshopper and the griffin are out of uh, out of context, out of uh, out of commission. Nothing to do there. Got less than a year left in this can in this career mode. Actually, time is running down. So, for the second episode from this stream for YouTube, uh, we are going to go and do the next part of the Capellan campaign that we're. Or the, the Federated Sons versus the Capellans campaign we're doing. Davian Alliance Part 3, Four and a Half Skull Mission. And we're assaulting a logistics base. And um, for this, I want to bring pretty much the... I want to bring the A-Team, uh, basically. Oh, wait. Why is that Highlander 733P currently showing a problem? What's the deal? What is wrong with you? Oh, there's two tons remaining. Okay. What was going on? Oh, what was going on here? Two tons of iron man when I was in touch. Heat sex. I think I, I think I just need more heat sex. Right? Is that it? This is kind of stupid that I'm going to lose this mech, mech's availability over this. That was kind of stupid of me, but one day in the shop for the Highlander. Um, I still can full do a full Assault Lance if I want, though. Annihilator, Bull Shark, the other Highlander are all available. I don't think it's a problem. I was going to bring the 733P, but I don't think it's needed. We could bring a Thunderbolt instead. Uh, which is probably what I'm going to do. That gives me a little bit more mobility. Um, if I need it. So let's do let's do this. So the Thunderbolt. We'll bring the... Uh, Highlander and the Bull Shark. I'll bring the Bull Shark. Uh, Zebroid and drill bit are out. Replaced by Shudder and Unicorn. Shudder, get your ass in here. Alright, let's do this. Quad 10s all around, baby! Yeah! Maybe regret not bringing a, uh, not bringing a, um, the Cyclops, maybe, instead of the, the Annihilator. To have a uh, LRM base uh, Punisher, but 
we're going with this. I think it'll work. We're kind of slow, kind of lumbering, kind of short range, honestly. Um, not that we're without long range. We do actually have um, two mechs with LRMs and then the Thumper Cannon from the the Bull Shark. So we're, we're not nearly that limited. Two full lances on the field plus turrets. Okay. This one could be hard. It's a straight up fight, which I I, I do like, but uh, could be hard. Could be hard. All right. So destroy the base garrison and destroy the facility. Okay. Copy that. So let's get ourselves into cover here. Let's see if we can get a nice grouping for a th oh hundred ton mech. 75 ton heavy, 65 ton heavy. Good to go. Okay. Stay out of the line of that uh, that assault mech. Okay. I want the shoulder. So they got their own thunderbolt. Waiting for orders. If I can get a hit. With the, with you, that would be great. And just the large laser. The May regret bringing this annihilator. I've been wanting to bring the annihilator more lately, but I think that. Oh, it's a king crab! It's a king fucking crab. Okay. And then a bunch of turrets. Can I get a thumper shot on him? Nah, we the only two max. So instead, let's keep working on taking away this angle of fire from them by taking out the Orion. There's another assault mech back there. PPC doesn't tell me enough, really. Move Shutter up in the Highlander. And... Could be the kill. Nah, didn't even open up the center torso. Give them everything you got. Okay. I still would ideally prefer to keep the Thunderbolt away from having to engage again grab. That... If that's at all possible. If that's at all amendable. Uh, to the game. <laughs> Still not dead yet. Okay, they are really sending their Thunderbolt out to try to get... Oh, no! You hit Unicorn in the head, you bastards. Okay, so the question is... Well... I was gonna say do a thumper, but I think I think with the thumper I'm waiting for that uh, that other assault mech to come up. The PPC dick. Barely hit, Commander. Standing by. Okay, Thunderbolt is next on my list. Its mobility is way more dangerous and is way more killable than the than the King Crab. Because, you know, there you go. It's already done. It's dealt with. And it's a Banshee again. Affirmative. I'm surprised they don't have Cold Shot available. Okay, so I may have made a mistake moving the Highlander there because the turrets can actually engage now. I'm showing minor damage. And without the turrets, these these two don't really have a hope in the world. Like I'm, I'm just being honest here. Taking a lot of abuse. 
Do I move the Highlander? I think I have to move the Highlander. Try and lure that Banshee in closer, too. Because then I can nail them with the, uh, the Thumper Cannon. There we go. That is nice. Boom! I love the Thumper Cannon. That's going to be in the back arc of the King Crab. Alright, so I know I'm exposing myself here, and that's not great. But, getting at that Banshee, probably worth it. back I can't get at the back oh uh, no this was a mistake <laughs> I thought I'd be able to get at the back of the king crab and make that worthwhile I mean damage king crab a lot don't get me wrong but now okay those are the reinforcements that thunder that thunderbolt is going to take some abuse But we can probably kill the king crab easily. There we go. King crab down. Ooh. I don't know about that move from the banshee. Waiting for orders. We could cool off a bit though. Okay, most of it looks like the. I am also trying to intentionally expose the uh, the assaults to try to <laughs> not have the thunderbolt get get its ass completely handed to it. Um, ideally, uh, no LRMs, please. But I think the thunderbolt is going to get thumped on. There it is. Not through the armor. Still good. Still good. Through the armor. Not good. Okay. Um, so step one. We are going to move... Oh, shite. Oh, shite. Oh, shite. That thunderbolt is... A little screwed. Give them everything you I think it lost its ultra can it lost the okay, it just lost the LRM. Alright. Um Get in behind. Call in a called shot. Center torso. Get the kill, please. No kill. Okay. We're just gonna expose Battle Cry and, and 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 hope. That didn't kill it. Oh no. Oh no. We okay. We're very unstable, but we do appear to be somewhat okay. Good to go. 
I need to kill at least one of these. I copy. There we go. Got one. One left turret. They're still picking at Unicorn though. Who desperately I think needs um who needs to just chug off some stability damage. I think he's gonna get knocked down. I think he's gonna get knocked down eventually here. Yeah, fuck. I made a huge, huge mistake when I jumped him up on the, that rock and didn't even get what I wanted. And, I, and to be honest, I'm not even sure if I got what I wanted, it would have been worth it. That might be a dead mech at this rate. Depends on what they can bring on it. Oh, come on, let me get up. Let me get up, you dicks. Barely hit, Commander. Okay. Commander. Stand up. Okay. Confirm. We need to jump in behind the Banshee. Should be able to kill. Okay. At least we got that done. This is one of those times you wish this was Mech Warrior Online and we get a cool we get a call shot. we get a cool shot. Okay. 60 tonner. I want them dead. I want every turret dead. Mech is so goddamn hot, though. <laughs> so very hot. Okay. That's the turrets dealt with. So we have the turrets out of the way. We know there's a heavy mech. We know there's something else out there that has LRMs and auto cannons. Could be a Jaeger mech is my sort of immediate guess, but it's activating as an assault mech, so the, mm, that's, it's definitely not that. They do actually have one turret still left. Um, no LBX, it's just the lasers. There. Okay. Save the heat. There's a lot of nasty stuff out there in the reinforcements. There's a lot. Reporting. Minimal damage. My mechs are relatively intact. Actually quite quite intact. I'm under but heavy fire. I am concerned by how long range this this force is. Um uh, you are doing nothing. <laughs> but brace it. Because there's a lot of LRMs, a lot of auto cannons that are really disturbing me. They might knock the Annihilator down, which is why I'm going to pay for Vigilance. And what do we got? We got a Dragon and a Banshee. And we'll just put these into the turret. There we go. That's a kill. 95 ton assault mech with a lot of ballistic ability. Reporting. Honestly, it kind of feels like it's a bull shark, but at the same time, you don't generally see them. I'm at a, I'm at a thumper range, unfortunately. So, the dragon. Might as well do a cold shot on it, to be honest. And, I mean, we're just going for the kill. They have another assault back there. They are very close to getting through the Annihilator's armor, just 
almost bed. everywhere. Commander. Um, which means I need to get this Highlander or the Bull Shark to the front lines uh, as soon as I can. Roger. Okay. Yep, yeah, they are through. Okay, they are through into the arm. So, <sighs> fall back, and you can be the one to destroy the base. This does give me the evac option. Problem is, is when you bring an annihilator. And to a lesser extent, the bull shark. Where is the evacuation point? Um, well, I I can send the Roger that. Thunderbolt back that way. <laughs> Maybe sucker them into thinking that that's my plan. Losing lots of armor. But, no, I don't the assaults can't really run. Engaging. Throw the thumper at them. Does feel slightly wasteful to do it on two mechs, but I do feel I need something to just, you know, kind of change the momentum here. Oh, it is a bull shark. All right, so we are we are getting screwed with a bull shark opponent. <laughs> uh, can probably take out that uh, dragon though. There we are. So three left. Banshee, bull shark. I've been sensor locked. That thing. Why did they get two turns in a row? That doesn't make any sense to me. Or, okay, this is them finishing their turn. Okay. So. Receiving you. Um, you can, you are just, you are just running away. We, we'll live to, we'll live to put the Thunderbolt in the drop shop at least. But they are coming up. And that's some serious damage to the Highlander. Some weaponry gone. That bull shark is overheating, though. That's good. That means that we are getting free call shots. I don't really have the salvage, otherwise I'd be very interested in a bull shark. But we we just need to kill. It's a stalker. Also, I think there are actually things I'd be more interested here to salvage. No, my gyro! No, you! Bastards! You killed her. You killed Shudder. I don't know. I don't know. Is this gonna work? I have legitimate questions if this is gonna work now. We're effectively down to two max. They're effectively down. To, they're down to two max because we just took out the the bull shark. But still. I am not liking this. They have beaten the annihilators. It's just the arm on the annihilator that's Good. currently off, but at the same time, losing losing shutter is still gonna is still Wait gonna suck. Uh, just brace. I'll do what I can. He's getting very close though. Yeah, there goes the arm. I think that's just a that's just a medium laser though. Injury ignored. Good. That one's overheating now too. Good. Yes, Commander. So free cold shots. Might be able to kill that stalker this turn. I don't know why they're overheating so badly. 
Also, not sure why they're not focusing fire on the Annihilator. I think they could have done a lot of damage there. Had they had they done that. Um, but instead he went after Sidewinder, who can just kill the Stalker. Nice. Alright, so that Banshee is going to get to go, though. Because we're going to rotate back to my turn, and it's going to be Unicorn's turn to do nothing. <laughs> okay, he went after the... Okay, he went after the Bull Shark. Thank God. Thank you, God. Armor's not low. You're in fantastic. You're in, you're in great shape. I'm here. Uh, Battlecry can finally burn some heat off by just headbutting. By going with the boop option. I could get the I could get the leg off easily. The only problem is is he's still gonna get to go. Because the Thunderbolt is again going to take up my first initiative phase and I can't can't do anything. I ran away with the Thunderbolt thinking we were we were more okay than we actually were. And I really can only hope that he... Okay, he did go after the bull shark. Okay. At least he's being stupid. He's not going out... That Annihilator, he's, in all seriousness, could could die here. If this, if this guy played it better. Full alpha. There we go. Most of that weaponry is gone. Reporting critical hit. And then... Backstep. Fade away jumper, baby. And down. Alright, so... The hope is that Shudder lived. Um, picking up a new set of contacts... Next big ones. Consecutive redeployments. Highlander's gone. Thunderbolt is scrappy. And um, and the Annihilator is not available either. Lovely. Still at the Bull Shark. So it's not the end of the world. And yet Shudder is dead. Killed in action. Sidewinder and Unicorn are not available for the next mission because they are injured. <sighs> Can't resist the King Crab. And there's not really any equipment that's blowing me away here. Cockpit mod is always useful. Alright, let's grab that. I'm tempted to just send down the uh, the Annihilator, to be honest. Because I feel like the King Crab, we can do basically the same build. And more effectively. We could replace the large laser that it's got with a with an LRM launcher to give us some, some range. And then the, the two big autocannons in the claws. Highlander could not be recovered. Okay, at least it's not a... Oh, it is, it is. So, Memorial Wall. We gotta take the moment to say bye-bye to Jada o Okinqua. With us 862 days. An original member of the company and the third one to die. Uh, 93 deployments, 20 injuries taken, 119 mech kills, 45 other kills. Um, that's a loss that's going to be felt. That That is, is legitimately going to be felt. And I also have a glitch here with the... With what's going on here, but okay. So Battlecry is going to come out in the Bull Shark. This is a guarantee. We pretty much need to bring the Cyclops, which is going to be Zebroid. 
and then we don't really have any assaults outside of that we can do we can do the zeus and we can do the black knight and i guess that's what we're going to have to do here um which is going to be guinness and apocalypse so here we go or do i want to reverse that i do want to reverse that. i want guinness in the i want guinness in the black knight okay this is going to be tough though this is going to be a legitimately tough one just because we've 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 lost a lot of what we would want. We're also we're also down to eight pilots, um, two of which are injured uh, with the loss of Shutter. So might have to look into hiring someone to be the new Shutter, as well as just making more use of Zebroid because I guess Zebroid's been promoted to top team with Battlecry, Sidewinder, and Unicorn, and then the B team of Roller. Uh, Drill bit, Apocalypse and Guinness. Well, I guess Apocalypse and Guinness are the are the new shutter, effectively. We just might want to start bringing more LRM boatage to the table. That Highlander loss is going to suck. Uh, is is really going to suck. That's that was a very good mech for us, and I will definitely miss it. Okay. Receiving a transmission from Lyle Furs of Lieutenant Colonel Caitlin's Caitlin Song. Attention mercy, you're trespassing, blah blah blah. You're in an awesome. You retreat now, you'll be spared. No, no. We are co we coming for you. I'm rolling. I would love to be able to use this position, but moving out. I feel like that's not actually gonna be an option. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Yeah. Be careful, Commander. We need to go this way. I think. I don't like that this is leading me into low ground, though, but I don't really think I have an option. So we got a Capellan uh, reinforcements group and a Capellan. Moving out. Um, main force, which is, uh, I assume, Caitlin Song's group. 80 ton assault mech. Um, reserve. I need them to move closer. go Ready to that's, the, that's the thing I really didn't I really didn't bring us a, uh, a, a scout mech well a, a scout pilot I should say I don't have anyone that has it sick gunners but uh, we're back I do not know who you are but I'm assuming I do know who you are and I just don't know you as a uh, as a uh, <laughs> as a Twitch person, okay. Let's go after this. Is awesome. Not interested in salvage. We're just going for kills. I like awesomes. Actually, I, I really like them. I like the mech, but I hear you. It just doesn't have. I mean, it could easily replace this Zeus. But we barely use the Zeus. Like, we're using the Zeus out of desperation because a bunch of mechs are in the shop getting repaired right now. Or, well, not even getting repaired right now. They're just in the... Sh they're just unavailable because of the damage they've taken. That hit hard. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's try and peel open that center torso. There we go. I like that. And then the LRM boat Cyclops can make it rain. We're frying the heat sinks in that thing. That's great. Something about this mission. I don't know. This is not... This is confusing me a little bit because Song appears to have no backup. 
like that. I mean, that doesn't necessarily help me. Good to go. Coordinates received. Got it. Kyle had many friends. He was a popular person. There we go. All right, so we can run if I can run if I want, and I do kind of want to run. I'm not gonna lie. Evac is right there. Oh, that is tempting. That is tempting just to run the fuck out of here. Reporting. Enemy oh, 60 yeah. tonner moving in. I don't honestly feel like tempting fate here. The way this is gone, I don't feel like tempting fate. Let's get let's get out of here. Um, that being said, I do want to I do want to do this smart. Uh, and not run with the Black Knight to there. We've got some LRMs coming in. Got a lot of LRMs. Jesus Christ. Ah, Brandon. See, I do know who you are. I just didn't know your Twitch name. Stop hammering my bull shark. Get out of here. Actually, the bull shark is in decent shape still, I run. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. And then Commander? Apocalypse needs to get out of here as well. Waiting for orders. Moving fast. We demand baseball. Baseball is going to be on Friday. Or Thursday. I can't remember which. It's supposed to be Thursday, but there's sometimes I have a uh, live uh, racing uh, up, commentary commitment. Um, and in that case, it would be a Friday. Fuck your quick draw. God, I hate units that bring so many LRMs. If that bull shark falls over, I am in serious trouble. It's got a lot of stability damage, and there's a pilot injury. Stay standing, stay standing, stay standing, stay standing. Okay. Reading you. Vigilance. To shrug it off. Order acknowledged. And brace. And then. Good to go. There we go. Moving to position. We get the fuck out of here. Screw you, Capellans! Alright. So we killed Song. And I think that's the end of the Flashpoint mission. I could be mistaken. Obviously never done this uh, Flashpoint before, so... There might be more. But that was a very long one. Two double, uh, two double deployments. Picked up a pilot injury, but that's about it. Bit, it was a weird, it's a weird structure because the awesome had no, the awesome had no backup. Um, we'll just grab heat sinks. Of course, just killing the awesome means I get like you know terrible salvage because we just get to salvage the awesome basically. It was a really weird deployment, because they put Song out on her own. Or their own. I think they, they keep referring to it as they, so I think it's a non-gender character. And, um... As a result, it was really easy to kill Song. Um, and the forces that were coming from the side there might have been really impressive. Um, but, like, it was, it was worse structured than most assassination missions missions that went remarkably well commander not that i expected otherwise giving you a reputation thank you uh lucky for us song decided to come check out the situation uh, couldn't be certain they invest uh we couldn't be certain they'd investigate but given the importance of the base yeah see they keep saying they instead of he or she uh, i'm thankful it worked out well played commander moffrey with song eliminated we'll be able to uh, move forward with our strategic plans. The only thing I would say is that Song was a lieutenant colonel. 
seems weird that Lieutenant Colonel was going to deny the Federated Sons the ability to access the... Uh... Alright, next go. We'll be waiting for your call. Alright, lost tech items. Come on, better be good. Oh, medium pulse laser. Triple plus gyro. Com system, small laser. Double plus gyro. Uh, part of a Griffin 2N. Not bad. Not bad at all. I was kind of hoping for a mech or something. 